All right, it's Wednesday, March 9th, 2023. I have tried to make a video. No. No, it's Thursday. It's Thursday, March 9th, 2023. It's been a long week. I've tried to make a video several times this week and just failed miserably. So... Um, just an update and maybe a little bit more info on what's going on. Um, so I've, I've decided to weigh myself every Monday morning and I weighed myself this Monday and just a few days ago, um, I've lost about 10 pounds so far. It's really good. First week of weight loss. When you stick to your diet, like I'm doing and you're as big as I am, the, the initial weight loss is pretty quick. Um, it trust me, it plateaus, it slows down, it gets tough, all those things. And you'll probably see that here real soon. So, um, so the reason I'm weighing in on Monday mornings, the weekend, my, my problem is I can do great on my diet. If I can keep my mind busy and my hands moving and not thinking about food. So the weekends are tough because I'm at home or I'm around more food because my kids are there all day. Um, it's traditionally, you know, pizza on the weekends for us, which we haven't done as much lately. So, um, but my, that's the reason I'm doing it is hopefully Monday morning weigh-ins are a motivation to stick to my diet through the weekend. Um, and if you want to gain a lot of weight really quick, eat pizza and drink a ton of water or soda and you'll retain that, that water and you just, you'll yeah, bloat like a fish in the sun. So anyways, um, a couple other things that are helping me with this initially. Um, I'm using a program on my iPhone called lose it. Uh, it's nice cause I can track my water intake. Um, the foods that I'm eating. It also, since I'm doing a fasting diet, it also does fasting reminders to remind me, Hey, it's now, seven o'clock p.m. you can't eat anymore um so that's good because then i at least have it in my head hey something or someone is saying you're not supposed to eat now um i'm i think my biggest problem is i've always been kind of <sighs> dismissive of how many calories i'm actually eating because of all the the outside of the big meals that i would eat um so now that I'm back to that, that intermittent fasting and I have something saying, Hey, you know, between these hours, you can't eat, um, seems to be helping and I'm really doing a good job. I haven't cheated at all in a week. Um, so the, yeah, the app's called lose it. Um, just kind of show you, um, has like, well, know, that's not going to work. Check out lose it if you want. Um, it is, you can use it for free. You can have a you know, paid subscription. I'm using the paid subscription and I'm not trying anybody else to do this um, because I want to do more things. So I have a another tool I'm using, which is really helping me, um, is my Apple Watch. Um, again, not not being an advocate of you know, spending a bunch of money to lose weight. You can lose weight without spending any money. Um, but for me, I'm a techie geek. So part of my motivation is using the gadgets and tricks that I have with technology to, to lose weight. Just like what I'm doing right now. This is for me a weight loss tool, um, doing these YouTube videos. And it's not so much, I'm not trying to change the world. I'm not trying to influence people. Um, I'm not even doing this so people will watch the videos. I'm doing this so that I have a record of my progress and things I can look back on because I'm not real great with my memory. Um, but things I can look back on and reflect on and use that information to hopefully improve going forward with my planning and my dieting. Um, okay. So that's the update as far as how my diet's going. Life is hectic right now. Um, I won't, you know, I try not to get into politics too much on here because I don't, you know, if it's kind of complicated. Um, I'm pretty passionate about 
politics. I'm passionate about a lot of things, but I don't want that to cause me more stress with this process I'm going through. Um, the one thing that I will talk about because it has had a drastic impact on my life the last few years is COVID and the whole pandemic stuff. Um, I wasn't afraid of COVID. I'm not afraid of COVID. Uh, I've, I've had it a couple times. Um, I'm still, you know, I still have some side effects. I still have serious taste issues. Um, some of my favorite foods in the whole world I can't eat anymore because I can't stand the taste. Um, some of the smells absolutely disgust me now. Like coffee smells like a combination of burnt rubber and dirty feet. And same with popcorn. I can't even stand the smell of popcorn. Um, but more importantly, what happened to me was more psychological and what I went through during COVID. Um, I have always been kind of an, I've been an introvert, but once, once I know people, I become close to them. I'm friends with them. I, you know, I, I genuinely love my friends because they're, you know, few in numbers and, and that's how I am. So I, I don't have, you know, 500 friends that I care about. I have like five friends that I truly would step in front of a train for, um, and <clears throat> it wasn't COVID that took them away from me. It was the decisions our leaders made that took them away from me. Um, and they're still alive. I mean, but there was, you know, a couple of years where we couldn't travel to where our friends were or they couldn't come here and, and they're, the whole being shut down and being stuck inside and not having that interaction, it changed me chemically, permanently. Um, it, it made me a colder person than I was. Um, it made me more reserved. And in a lot of ways, it, it, it really made me struggle with my day-to-day -day functions just as a person um the anxiety you know I, I manage all these things i i don't feel like i've i'm not not able to live but i have to manage these things now and i i know this is probably similar for a lot of people um so for me it wasn't the virus that did much of anything to me i, I lost family members to it i lost you know people i know people i work with um, but I guess I've experienced a lot of loss in my life with friends and family. So, and this isn't, I'm not ranting about COVID being real or not, or where it came from or anything like that. That's outside of this. This is strictly the psychological impacts of what happened and how the country shut down. Um, and I'm not blaming anybody. It happened worldwide. I mean, it, it, right or wrong it happened and we have to deal with the effects of it regardless of why or who or what it, it happened so we have to deal with it so that's that's honestly one of the big hurdles i'm dealing with um so good news um i do have my ekg coming up on the 23rd i i have so they, they were trying to schedule me for a sleep study. Um, they told me it would take a month or two months before my insurance would approve it. It took like two days. Even when they called me, they were like, you're not going to believe this, but your insurance already approved your sleep study, which tells me that my paperwork probably freaked the crap out of them. Um, so that's scheduled. It's a couple months out. They're pretty backed up. So my sleep studies on May 14th, stupid me, I scheduled it on Mother's Day, um, but, so that's good news, um, I'll keep you guys up to date on those things when they come up, and let you know what the results are, and kind of what I'm doing, um, I have a new sleep, um, a CPAP mask I got that, it, it's a lot better as far as how it 
feels on my face. It's not as much pressure. Because uh, what I've been having a lot of problems with is the, the bridge of my nose when I wear a full face. A lot of pressure on my nose when I get up. Um, but this new mask actually is really cool because it's, it's still a full face. But it goes around the mouth. And then it comes here and down in there's nose holes. So it doesn't actually go over the nose. It just cradles it. So uh, it's a little leaky. If you, know, if you use CPAP, you know what that means. Um, but it still keeps me way below the threshold of, of being any concern. I think with this mask, with my other face mask, I average a half an event an hour. Um, and that's coming down from 88 events an hour. So half an event an hour is really good. Um, with this, I average like 1.5 events an hour. So, um, what's happening is somewhere during the night, you know, I'm not getting a real great seal on that. And, you know, for a little while, I probably have a few events and then it averages that out through the night. Anyways, I, I'm learning way more about apnea, sleep apnea than I, I ever wanted to. Um, but the more I learn about it, the more I understand the importance of it and the easier it makes me able to use the CPAP technologies. Um, so yeah, so that's good news. Um, what else is going on? I really want to talk to you guys about the haunted hospital stuff. Um, it's a annual event now. We've done it three years in a row. Um, we even did it during COVID, like, which was interesting. And I'll talk about that. It, it actually, with that, it actually helped us as far as it, it's hard to explain, but um, I'll do a special video on the haunted hospital and talk to you about that. Um, I need to talk to you about our spa and kind of how that's going. Um, got lots of updates on my kids. I have some, so unfortunately some bad news I'm dealing with, which I do have a lot of stress in my life. Um, and that's one big piece of this that I'm trying to figure out is, you know, how do I, how do I get rid of stress? Well, I've got financial stress. I've got emotional stress. I've got physical stress. I've probably got 10 other kinds of stress. I got work stress. I got everything. Okay. Um, and I know y'all deal with the same stuff. Don't get me wrong. Um, so one of my stresses right now is, is, um, my dog Mocha, the first dog that I have had, he's, he's only six years old, but for some reason out of nowhere, he went completely blind. Um, so he's dealing with it really well. Um, he's very, he, he has a great hearing and he in smell and so he'll occasionally bump into something. Um, but he does such an amazing job and, and he is a hundred percent blind. Like he doesn't see light. He doesn't see anything. Um, so, so now, you know, I give him drops every day and he's got medication. The dog costs more than my kids at this point. So, um, so that's going on. We do have three other dogs, um, and they're pretty good dogs. I'll kind of at some point reintroduce those so you guys can get to know them and see them a little bit more. Um, I have, what else going on? Let's see. Um, <clears throat> what else did I want to talk to you about? Oh, my side business. Um, my side business, my hustle as they call it, which I pay all my taxes on, by the way. Um, that's pretty interesting. And that's another video. But um, so I do, what I do is I do laser engraving on different metal objects. Um, it's not like a forge glow or anything like that. This is a fiber laser. It's a little, a little bit bigger, a little more expensive. Um, and it's a, it's designed for different types of engraving than what your glow forge is. Um, I'll, I'll at some point be making a video on that and kind of showing that. Um, but I, I wanted to say that I'm feeling better. Like this for me, I have a really hard time talking to people. Um, I have a really hard time talking to people, but I seem to be able to talk to this camera, even though I know that, you know, tens of you will see it. Um, that for me, and I'm not, I'm not doing it for feedback or really even interactions. The, I think the therapy for me is just getting it out and saying the things I need to say and being able to look back at myself. That's, that's the therapy for me. So, um, I've tried to go into therapist. I mean, I've talked to therapists. I just, I don't, 
I can't ever get comfortable. I can't get comfortable knowing I have to see the person looking back at me. I can't get comfortable with that. Um, that's why, I mean, that's why I do a lot of things I do. I, I'd say I've never want to be seen. I don't want to be seen. I, I want to be known, but not seen. And I don't know if that makes sense or not, but anyways, guys. All right. Well, I gave you my update. Um, I set a new record. This is the second video I've done <laughs> or third. I don't know. Um, I've, I'm planning on doing this at least maybe once a week or more often. Um, I just want to kind of keep keep recording my progress, keep you guys up to date, um, and just keep moving forward. So, all right, well, I'm going to get off here. I've kept you guys long enough. Um, I hope you all have a great rest of your week and a great weekend, and I will talk to you next week. Have a good week.